so, so far I've made some videos that went through a flooring example in great detail, showed you how to do inputs, processing and output, how we had to convert the strings of a text box into decimals so we could do math. Then I showed you how to do grand totals. And then finally, in the third video, I showed you how to catch errors with the try catch statement. In this one, I'm taking a problem from the book and I'm going to show you the solution to it from start to finish. So if I open up this project, you will see that what this program does is let you calculate how many calories are in a meal. Let me run it here. And I can say I've got 50 grams of fat, or let's say 100, 50 of carbs, and 25 of protein, and I say get calories. 46,000. Oops, I think I made a typo. Let's try that again. Let's say 100, 50, and 25. Say get calories. 1,200 calorie meal, a lot of fat. Maybe I just went to McDonald's. Now, if I do another meal, this time, you know, I go somewhere more healthy. Who knows if this is less or not? This meal was 725 calories, and now my grand total is 1950. If I mistype any of these, it's going to give me a message box for me to correct that. Even if I mistype the third one, it gives me a specific message box saying, fix this text box. So that's what the program does. Now, I have three inputs in this program, three text boxes and two outputs. So that means I need to dim five variables, three for input, two for output. So what's the name of this text box? If I come over to my properties window, it's TXT fat. The second one is, take a guess, it's TXT carb, and then we have TXT protein, P-R-O-T for protein. My labels are LBL, Cal for calories, and LBL total. So let's open up the code window, double click on that, and we've got a couple different things going on in this program. First of all, you will see these two constants. C-O-N-T, let's look at just this one, the first one. C-O-N-T, des fat calories as decimal equals nine. So this is a decimal variable. It starts out with a value of nine, but it's a constant. It can't be changed. It's much better to create a constant at the top of your code than to put a nine, just put the number nine down in my calculations. Because if I ever need to change this, I can just change it at the top. Now, remember I had a grand total. So I had to dim desk total at the top to get my grand total so it wouldn't go back to zero each time the program's run. Let's look at the calculate button. So private sub calculate click. I've got three inputs. Desk fat, desk carb, desk protein. I'm going to take those three text boxes and bring them into here. And then I'm going to calculate my calories into desk cows. And then finally, I'm going to add desk cows to desk total to get my grand total. Here in the first part of the code, I'm going to do a try catch to do the input for which text box? TXT fat. I'm going to do a decimal parse and put it into the variable desk fat. Now remember, TXT fat and desk fat are two completely different things. This is a variable in RAM, has no properties. This is a text box on my form. I have to take the text property of TXT fat, which is a string, parse it into a decimal, put it into desk fat so I can do math. If that will not parse, it's going to trigger the catch. I'm going to do a message box, and I'm going to set the focus back to the text box that caused the error. And then I'm going to say exit sub, because there's no use going on if we have an error. We don't want to do math. We don't even want to try to nail them on the next text box, OK? Then we go on to tr do a try catch. This time, though, we're getting carbs. We're getting the carbs from the text box. Then we do a third try catch. 
to get the protein. And once that's done, my total calories is going to be fat times the fat constant. Now, when I tool tip over this, can you see that the constant has a value of 9? So however many uh, grams of fat times 9 plus however many grams of carbohydrates times 4 plus however many grams of protein times 4. Then I'm going to add the 3 together and put it into calories. Then I'm using the plus equal to say add these calories to the grand total. So finally, the last thing I need to do is the output into the labels. So I'm going to set a breakpoint right here. I'm going to go back to my code window, I mean my form window. I'm going to run my program, and let's put uh, the Big Mac in here. 100 grams of fat, give it some carbs, and allegedly some protein, and I'll say get calories. So where does my program pause? at the breakpoint. Remember on the debug menu, what can I do? I'm going to step through my code by saying step over which is F10. So let's start running my code. That try catch worked. Didn't have an error. So now fat has 100 in it. It's going to continue on to the next try catch. It's going to try to do the decimal pars for carbs. That worked. Now I have 50 from the text box which is 50. I'm going to keep hitting my my shortcut key to step through my code, F10. Now it's going to do the try catch for protein. Protein worked because it went to end try. It didn't go to catch. Now I'm going to do my calculation. So right now, calories is zero because I have not run this line of code yet. Fat is 100. Carbs is 50. Protein is 25. Boom, run that line of code. There it is, 1,200 calories. Or as they say in Australia, boom, Bob's your uncle. So, my total is zero. I'm going to add 1,200 to my total. Now my total is 1,200. Run these lines of code. Put my answer in the labels. There you have it. Now let's mess up. I'm going to mess up on the second one. My carbs is going to be Fred. That's going to trigger the catch in the try catch, in the second try catch. I'm going to hit get calories. It's back up here at the top. I'll step through my code, F10, first one worked, see if the second one's going to work, uh-oh, that triggered my catch. Pops up my message box saying, please enter the number for grams of carbs, puts the focus in that text box, says exit sub, because we don't want to go any further. See how it jumps down to end sub? Now my cursor's blinking here, I can fix this and then say get calories. It's going to run it again from the top as if it has never been run. It's going to do a try catch for the first. The first one worked because they typed in a good number. Second one's now working. The third try catch is now working. Got past all my error checks with the three try catches. Calculate my calories. Now current calories is 1200. We already had 1,200 in there. It's going to do plus equal. So now my grand total is 2,400. Then I put the answers in there so you can see my grand total is growing. Let's go back and look at one other thing in the code. Let's look at my button clear. Now I'm going to put a breakpoint right there on button clear so we can see what's going on with that. Go back to my code window. Hit my clear button. So here I'm going to clear out everything. I'm going to clear out the text boxes using the dot clear method. There is not a dot clear for labels, so I have to say text equals quote quote. Put an empty string in there. And then finally, I'm going to put my focus back to the first text box. Now, here's my real and finally. And I need, just because I blank out my label for the total, my total variable was a module level variable. I need to set it to zero. That is how this little example works. I decided I needed a total of five variables, three for input, because I had three text boxes, two for output, one for the grand total here, desk total, and the other for the current number of calories, 
Just Cows because I had two labels. That's it.